With over $10 billion worth of investment from Meta alone in 2021, the metaverse industry has grown into a household name with a market cap of $13 trillion. And did you know that as per PMI, the Web 3.0 market is estimated to grow exponentially by 2030 with an annual growth rate of 45.2%? You must have heard about a few things related to Web 3 and Metaverse already. Let's discuss some of the differences between the two. The broad difference between Metaverse and Web 3 is that, Web 3 is a blockchain-based technology that is intended to decentralize web authority and improve data security. Web3 is a way to redistribute ownership of the internet. It intends to take decision-making power away from a small group of people into the hands of the community. Metaverse, on the other hand, is a technology that allows the creation of virtual worlds, enabling people to experience digital realities in a much more immersive manner. Metaverse could be used to create a virtual work environment for immersive online gaming or learning, for creating virtual tours, or setting up virtual shops and much more. The interesting part is that the users could also interact with each other in the metaverse through their avatars. Metaverse is designed in a way where this virtual world continues to exist even when a particular user is not participating in it. Companies can choose to build centralized or decentralized metaverses i.e. metaverses based on Web3 or without it. The demand for a blockchain-powered metaverse, however, has increased since multiple industries are already benefiting from blockchain technology. In short, Web3 is a blockchain-based tech, primarily concerned with who will rule and govern the internet, centralized companies, or the public. But the metaverse, on the other hand, is concerned with how the users interact with digital realities. If it's that simple, why do people mistake one for the other? The most obvious reason is that despite all the discussions around these technologies, no one is really sure what they are going to become. They are both under construction by multiple organizations. Meta's vision for the metaverse, for example, is very different from some others who believe that the metaverse needs to be decentralized and out of the control of large corporations. Another reason is the difference between Web3 and Web3.0. They do not mean the same thing. Web3 simply refers to the decentralized web, whereas Web3.0 is an identifier that represents the third major iteration of the internet in its full glory. One of the major reasons for the confusion between Web3 and Metaverse is that, at one point or the other, both of them have been collectively called Web3.0. The decentralized web or Web3 just focuses on the security aspect of it with the goal of decentralizing data and giving power of identity back to the people. Web3.0 is also referred to as the semantic web, which focuses on better efficiency and intelligence by reusing and linking data across websites. Lastly, Metaverse and Web3 are often a point of confusion and understandably, so because the technologies involved considerably overlap with each other. The tech used to build Web3 which includes blockchain, cryptocurrency, and FTs, etc. has great implications on the way we would interact with the Metaverse as well. Both Web3 and Metaverse are bound to interact with each other and become more than what they are today. We must note that they are not competing but complementary technologies, and only time shall reveal the profundity of their impact on our lives. Hope you found this video resourceful. We at Blockchain Council offer industry-relevant certifications that are designed and provided per the most current industry standards. If you wish to be a part of the emerging world of Web3, Metaverse, NFTs and DeFi, enroll for our certifications today. Also, let us know what you think we should explore in our future video in the comments section. Thank you for watching.